Hello, I'm Jermaine Ann Marquez and I will be going to perform the return demonstration on assessing chest tube drainage system. So first, check the doctor's order. So review the patient's chart to know the location and to be able to inform us the type of expected drainage. Okay, then next, perform hand hygiene to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Then apply clean gloves. Okay. Then great, introduce, identify, and explain. Hello sir, I'm Kermin Ann Marquez. I will be your nurse for the day. May I know your name and date birth, sir? Okay, uh, pa-check na lang po ng wristband ninyo. Okay, thank you. So, now sir, I'm here po to check and assess your chest tube insertion site and also the drainage system po ninyo. Is that okay with you, sir? Okay, so after explaining, of course, we need to provide privacy by closing the door or drawing curtains. Okay. So, sir, uh, relax lang po kayo dyan and I will do an assessment of your respiratory status para po malaman natin kung stable po ba yung condition ninyo. Okay. Okay, sir, can you take a deep breath for me? Okay, just inhale and exhale, sir, then relax po. Okay. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so now, sir, do you feel or experience any pain right now? Okay, uh, can you rate your pain fr from the scale of 0 to 10? Okay, sir. So, then of course, measure vital signs such as blood pressure, temperature, respiratory rate, and pulse rate. So, ayan sir, palagay din po itong pulse oximeter sa daliri po ninyo to check your pulse rate and oxygen saturation. Then, after that, uh, place patient in a semi-fowler position for easier breathing and para maging comfortable si patient okay so next um, assess chest tube insertion site to ensure that the sterile dressing is dry and intact so and dapat no drainage holes should be visible sa chest tube Ayan. Then, dressing is generally changed 24 hours post-insertion, then every 48 hours. So, the chest tube are generally sutured in place. Ayan. Then, i-check din natin yung insertion site for signs of subcutaneous empesima. So, dapat walang fluid leaking around the site or sounds of air leaks. Okay. So, next naman, maintain a closed system. Make sure that um, all the connections are taped and secure to prevent um, accidental tube removal or disruption of the drainage system. Okay. Then, next, um, ensure tubing is not kink or bent to avoid dependent loops uh, because it could interfere with the drainage of the pleural fluid. Then, yung ating connection chamber or drainage system ay dapat nasa below the level of the chest, um, nasa ground siya or nasa side rails to facilitate drainage and prevent backflow ayan, para uh, mag-function siya correctly. Tsaka dapat, um, i-secure din natin yung drainage system to prevent it from being knocked over to the ground para hindi masage or matumba. Okay. So, next is um, periodically check the water seal chamber each shift to ensure that the water level is to 
the dotted line. So, dapat nasa 2 cm as the water may evaporate and add water as necessary. Okay. Also, check for tidaling. So, dapat nagmove yung water up and down with respirations. And take note that gentle or periodic bubbling is normal as the lungs expand. So, dapat lagi natin ina-assess yung system to ensure proper functioning. So, next is to ensure suction control dial is set usually to 20 cm. So, if the suction is ordered, uh, dapat visible clearly yung float dito sa window. So, ito yung kulay, kulay orange. So, normal lang siya pag nag-bubbles. Kapag walang bubbles, i-make sure na nakasecure yung connection ng tubing and turn the suction higher. Okay. So, if the suction is not ordered naman, uh, dapat yung suction port is left open to air. And wala dapat nag appear sa suction window. Ayan, dapat wala itong kulay orange dito. Okay, then next, um, sa ating wet suction system naman, expect gentle bubbling sa chamber. So, dapat gentle lang kap kasi pag malakas yung bubbling, it can disturb the patient. So, need din natin i-assess yung air leak meter to determine the progress of internal air level ni patient. So, it measured as level 1 to 7. Dapat dinodocument natin ito in every shift. Ayan. So, next, check that the clamp is open. So, hindi dapat siya nakaklamp unless in order siya and for a specific reason lang. Ayan. So, sa ating drainage system, measure the date and time and the amount of the drainage. So, kailangan nating i-mark or markahan yung labas ng chamber every time na i-check or i-assess natin ito. So, record also the amount and characteristic sa ating fluid balance sheet and sa patient's chart. So, pag madami um, or nagkaroon ng large amount of drainage or nagiba ito ng kulay, we should record it then report it to the physician. So, for example, if the drainage is uh, free-flowing and nagred siya, it indicates hemorrhage. When the drainage is suddenly decreases naman, it may indicate a blood clot or obstruction sa ating chest tube drainage system. So, in every abnormal signs na ma-assess natin, we should always document it and inform the physician immediately. Okay. So, after that, encourage frequent position. Okay, sir. Um, I'm already done in assessing your chest tube insertion site together with your drainage system po. So now, sir, I encourage you to have frequent position changes para po maging comfortable po kayo. And you need also to have a deep breathing exercise. Relax lang po kayo. Then have a coughing exercise to promote your lung expansion and promote your fluid drainage po. Para po uh, hindi kayo mahirapan at para maging comfortable po kayo. Naintindahan niyo po ba, sir? Okay, sir, uh, do you have any questions or any clarification regarding to the assessment that I have done? Okay, so if you don't have any question, I will now go to the nursing station to have a documentation. If you need help or if you have any concern, just press the call bell anytime. Thank you po for your cooperation. Okay, so in every every after procedure, do the aftercare, uh, maglinis na tayo, then remove gloves, then discard, then perform hand washing to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Then last, uh, document the assessment that has been done 
such as presence of air leaks, fluctuation of water in water fluid chamber, amount of suction, um, amount of drainage and its type, presence of crepitus, uh, breath sounds, patient comfort level or pain level, and the appearance of insertion site or dressing.